Hello and welcome to What's New in Inventor 2013. Today's segment is on drawings. My name is Ken Phelps, Tech Support Supervisor here at Magda Graphics. One of the first pieces that's new for the software is the focus when making a new base view. And see here it shows my cylinder base as being the part to reference because that was the last file I was trying to access. In this case, if I go into my lever assembly file and just spin it around a little bit, it's now my last drawing file being accessed. When I go to make a new base view, that becomes the focus to base the new view off of. Also new for it is the way that you can find drawing files that you may have already existing. In this case, I have a drawing file for a part in my subassembly, so I'm going to select on it, right-click, and go to Component, and then Open Drawing. This will take me right to that drawing file for that part. Also new is the option to copy and paste drawing views onto the same sheet. We could always copy and paste them onto a different sheet, but now we can do it on the same sheet where the view exists. Also new, so we can go into some annotation like the balloon example I got here. If I drag it around, you see it's locking on like every 15 degree increment. I'll slide along that, but if I hold down the control key, it'll remove that locking of it and I can drag it anywhere I want to have. Same is true if I'm trying to infer the point from a, a neighboring balloon. I can track off of that and lock on every 15 degrees, but if I hold down control, it'll remove that so I can just track and place that wherever is most appropriate. When making your title blocks, you sometimes want to insert an image into there. Inventor now supports more image types inside of this. So now we have five different image types we can have. You have your JPEG, your PNG, and the TIFF. So there's a few more options when trying to bring in an image into your title block. Thanks for watching. To be notified when new videos are available, subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button above. To see a list of all our videos or get more information, click the link below to go to our website.